All right. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God. You know, uh, I, I tried a few things. Um, I actually took some of the spiral out. And I, you know, the, the idea of a, um, a flywheel was given to me many times. So I put it on top and I realized that my actual rotor was heavier than the flywheel. So I thought, why don't I just power the flywheel? So I put little magnets in there. These guys right here. Little neodymium, I think they're N48s. I think they're about a uh, half inch or so. Um, and I put them around, but I think I put too many because when I went to power it directly with the Bendini circuit, I really couldn't get it going because A, I believe the magnets weren't powerful enough and the fly arm was, the, the, the actual rotor rotor here was too heavy. I took some of the spiral out, which uh, decreased the drag a little bit. Um, but not enough that I that um, I'm not getting any benefit from it. Let me shut it off. Let me show you what I got here. So it's the same rotor that used to be down over there, and and uh, you know, like I said, I tried to power this guy directly, and I couldn't. I couldn't get. Um, I couldn't get a really good rotation. So, using, you know, the magnetic force of um, the smaller rotor, I can get this thing to spin, and spin nice and fast. Where I'm going to go with this, I have no idea. I think I'm about to shelf it for a while, and, uh, and um, try something else. What I think I am going to do, though, is... I think I'm going to keep the flywheel but instead of having magnets here I'm going to put magnets on top here and put another um, stator over it with coils um, I've actually made a bunch of pickup coils where are they I got them around here somewhere I made a bunch like this and I can get you know I can get about a um, if, it, if it doesn't catch it does this so I gotta I gotta have it have to help it to catch up. And then once it sinks up, um, once it sinks up, then it, it's locked. But right now I'm having a hard time getting it to lock. Okay, hold on, let me shut it down. Shut it down. You can uh, you can tell by just by the ear when it's when it's actually sunk up. So let me get that guy spinning. Let's try that. He winds up getting a smooth rhythm. No. The little rotor's going too fast. Anyway. I need to change the magnets around too. I have this in repel mode to to this guy, and what works really well is when I alternate the poles on on uh, the smaller um, on, uh, the smaller rotor. Anyway, this was the flywheel attempt, and yeah, I can put the Benini coil directly on on this guy. I can set it up like like right here, and this guy flies and. And of course, this guy, you know, flies along with it. And I tried a few coils around the outside here just to see what kind of um, voltage or current I could get. And, it, and it, you know, it wasn't much. It wasn't much. Um, I uh, I got one of these little guys here. This is this is wired with thin wire, so I get high voltage from it. And then I took another one, and this one is the same, about the same thickness, but this has. Um, heavy gauge wire, so low voltage, but I get some some amps out of this guy. I put them both together and wired them together and tried that and got some interesting readings. Uh, yeah, about one and a half volts I can get from this combination here. Um, and I didn't, you know, I didn't look at the amperage. Um, here, let's try this again. 
I had it synced up pretty good the last time. You gotta really get it to, to match up, and when it does, the whole thing kind of rocks. And it's going pretty good now, but it's gonna slow down. Go figure. As soon as I start taping, the thing doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna shut this down, see if I can get it to sync. Okay, this is interesting. This is actually an anti-gearing mode. This is anti-gearing to this. And I got it to sync up. Anyway, like I said, I think I'm going to shelf this for a while. I'm really interested in uh, the Bendini circuit and especially um, George uh, Sky Collector. Sky, uh, forgive me, I forget what his was called thing he's got that power station I'm really interested in that with the uh, running the Newman motor off of the Bedini circuit that's that seems to be a, um, a real winner because he's putting in 12 volts and from what I can tell he's getting out 25 or 26 and I don't know if that let me shut this down I don't know if that includes the amp but they got this thing anti-gearing now isn't that weird I could never get it to do that but yeah, so that seems interesting to me that he's able to put one in and get a larger one out, which I don't think that that's unusual. Of course, I don't know what, you know, if it can power anything more than 12 volts or the amps, um, if there are any amps uh, enough there to, to do anything with it. But I'm going to start playing around with that. So yeah, I'm going to shelf this for a while. I'm going to take these these magnets out of here. I've got a ton of hard drive magnets. I'm going to put some on the top there, put a stator up there, and just run the Bendini circuit, or just run this rotor uh, straight off the Bendini circuit without this thing, or use this. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll see which one gives me greater speeds and uses less amperage. Um, and see what kind of current. But for now, I think I'm going to shelf it. I'm getting kind of getting kind of bored with this. It was fun. But unless somebody's got some ideas for this thing, I'm going to shelf it, and I'm going to start working on the Bandini-Newman motor combination. All right. Give this guy a little spin here. Some powerful magnets. Powerful magnets. Let's see if I can get it to... One more time. There we go. All right, 